Welcome to another DK Custom Products video. I'm Dwayne and this is Kevin. And today we're gonna give you guys yet another reason why an external breather system on your Harley Davidson is a great idea. So Kevin's gonna share with us something he read on the forums the other day, a post that kind of went on for a while, actually. Yeah, and this was a post that um, I read and I was interested because the guy came on, I'm not gonna read his whole comment, um, but basically he he posted a thread where his bike all of a sudden wouldn't idle. And the only way he could keep it going was give it like a quarter, 25% uh, throttle to get mm -hmm. down the road. Every time he let up on throttle, it would die. And you know he was asking for advice. There were like six or seven pages of advice of people telling him, check your ground, yeah. check for bad fuel, yeah. check all these different things. Yep. And he's spending time doing it. He took it to the dealership. The dealership could not figure out what was wrong with it. And it turned out to be that the idle air control sensor that is in the throttle mm -hmm. body was gummed up because of all the hot, oily, oxygen depleted air yeah. being fed from the crankcase back through the throttle body you know, which is the OEM configuration. Right. And, and you know, you have, that's just one of several sensors you have in there. You got the map sensor in there. You got throttle position sensor in there. I mean, it's- You have your intake air temperature sensor in there, and then you have your idle air control. And that was gummed up. We have a whole video we'll put in the upper corner here about how to clean out all that gummed up mm -hmm. stuff and what are the pros and cons of doing it different ways. So you can watch that video, but that, that's what happened with this guy is, is that he spent who knows how many hours trying to figure out how to get his bike to mm -hmm. back to running good and then spending all that time on the forum, you know, reading everybody's advice of what to do and then time going to the dealer and back. Mm -hmm. They couldn't figure it out. And all it was was stuff was gummed up and <laughs> shooting all that oily yeah. air uh, through the throttle body. And of course, once he got that corrected, then it idled fine. It went mm -hmm. back to running fine. And of course, I let him know, probably a good idea to get an external breather system <laughs> so it doesn't happen again. And also so that, you know, you're helping your bike last longer, run cooler and run stronger. Yeah. But th this, uh, I, I thought I was going to learn something new, you know, when he was saying, that it wouldn't idle and I didn't know if he had an intake leak, an exhaust leak, what, you know, what was going on, maybe a blown head gasket, yeah. you know, lots of things go through your mind and it turned out to be the simplest thing from uh, a, a flaw in the OEM setup, which Harley knows it's a flaw. They can't do anything about it because of a certain three letter federal agency. <laughs> um, but, um, so uh, that thing where everybody was interested in giving him advice and I was following it, it just turned out to be yet another reason to run an external breather system on your bike. That's right. Cause the reasons are endless. And I've noticed since we've been doing videos on external breather systems, sometimes we get a little pushback from people that will say, well, that oil build, building up on your piston, not that big of a deal. Or hot air going in the intake, not that big of a deal. Or hot oily air passing across your map sensor, and idle air control sensor. This is the worst. <laughs> You can't tell me all three, all of the lists are not that big of a deal. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It, so combined, they make a pretty big difference. And you can say it's not that big of a deal until something happens. Exactly. exactly. It was a big deal to this guy. Right. He couldn't ride his bike. Usually people with these bikes, you run into other issues before this catches up and bites you in the rear. So for some people, it's not a concern. But I can assure you, if you're someone that intends on putting miles on your bike, it's all pros to venting externally. The only reason Harley vents internally is because of the... Sir, I'm afraid you've gone mad with power. Of course I have. Have you ever tried going mad without power? It's boring. No one listens to you. That's the only reason. I mean, bikes early 90s and older, they didn't vent internally. It, there was just there's just no reason to other than on occasion a drop of oil might go out into the atmosphere. But we do hope this 
uh, feedback from this gentleman will help you maybe be mindful to keep your throttle body clean, uh, keep those sensors clean. And, uh, you know, there's no reason not to vent externally. You know, we have external breather systems for the variety of aftermarket air cleaners out there, even for OEM air cleaners, in addition to all of our all of our air cleaners include an external breather system. If you don't know what an external breather system is, mm -hmm. check out the video we put in the upper left corner. Your bike will love this mod. And it explains what an external breather yep. system is and what all the benefits are to them. And we know you guys like different flavors. So we have catch cans, we got filters, we got black catch cans, bill aluminum catch cans, we got breather bolts, we got hoses that run right to the ground. So there's a lot of options for you guys. You can check them out on our website, dkcustomproducts.com. If you have any questions at all about fitment primarily, shoot me an email to support at dkcustomproducts.com. Y'all ride safe out there.